What's up, guys? Man, I'm excited. But at the same time, I'm also a little disappointed in, in myself. But as you can tell by the title, I just spent some money on some things that I really did not want to buy. Believe it or not, yo, I really didn't want to buy this. But at the same time, I was kind of obsessing over these for the past few days. And yo, man, these look really good. I just picked them up last night and I was super excited. I wanted to throw these on, but I saved it for today. So I'll show you guys in broad daylight. Y'all ready for this? All right, let's check it out. Man, dude, these wheels look freaking nice. So they might look like TE37s, but they are not. So these are actually 17 by nine and a half. A while back, I used to run 17 by nines. So those did fit, but the offset on these are different. So the Prelude runs like 16 by six inch wheels, something like that, maybe six and a half. And these are 17 by nine and a half. So the wheels being 17s are not the issue. The issue is the width, nine and a half. Yo, that's a big jump. I'm going from six inch to nine and a half. And the issue with my old wheels that were 17 by nines, they were really close to the upper control arm. They were really close to the inside of the wheel well. With these being a half inch wider, it doesn't sound like a big difference, but yo, my rub. The good news is this is a lower offset, which means the wheel is gonna poke out further away from the wheel well. But that also means that there's a good chance it might rub on my fender. Pretty much what I'm getting at is, I don't know if these are gonna fit, but I was looking around online and I've seen people running 18s by nines, 18 by nine and a half. And I was like, yo, if they could fit an 18 by nine and a half, I should be able to fit a 17 by nine, nine and a half. But man, what do y'all think about these wheels? I'm not gonna lie, I'm actually really excited about these. They have a nice little lip size. They're really wide. The tires are already kind of stretched, but they're not as stretched as my previous setup when I had 17 by nines. Go ahead and pause the video and comment down below what do you think about these wheels. And go ahead and give the video a thumbs up if you like the wheels, yo. I know I will. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so the story behind these wheels, man. So about a week ago, I was getting rid of my MacBook Air. So I was posting it on Facebook Market, offer up, let go, and whatever else, credulous, blah, blah, blah. So in the process of selling my MacBook Air, I saw these wheels for sale. And I was like, wow, those wheels look pretty good. The price was a little up there. And um, man, I don't know, I was just interested. So I just hit the seller up and I just asked them a few questions like, hey, you know, any damages? Is it dented? Is there a crack? Blah, blah, blah. Well, anyways, the price was pretty far up there and I was looking to buy a new computer, not some wheels. Well, eventually I sold my MacBook Air and a few days passed and with each passing day, I could not help but keep looking at these wheels, man. And I was like, man, these are gonna look really good on the, on the lewd. And <sighs> I just kept going back and forth. Like, man, I don't need these, but I wouldn't mind having them, you know? Well, yesterday came, I got paid and I had some funds. And originally I planned to, you know, just pay off some credit card debt and whatnot, get that out the way. But I was like, you know what? Let me shoot this guy an offer. His price was really fair, but I was like, you know what? I'm gonna shoot him an offer and I, I want him to say no, because if he says no, I'm gonna be okay with it. And I can just put this money towards paying my bills. Not my bills, my, my credit card debt. So I hit the dude up, shot him an offer. And later in the day, he replied back and he says, he says, yeah, I'll take that. And I was like, no, I wanted you to say no. <laughs> but yo, I had to keep my word. I was like, man, I gave him an offer. He said, yes, free, let me go pick him up. <laughs> and so that's how I got these wheels. All right, so before we put them on the lewd, let's see how they look. I'm gonna put it side by side with the uh, stock wheels so we can have an idea if, uh, if the car's gonna sit higher or you know how much wheel gap there's gonna be left. <laughs> Yo, the loot is gonna definitely sit a little bit higher, but man, they look freaking good. Y'all ready to see this? Sheesh. Dang. Yo, how about I get some wheel spacers and let the wheel sit out like that? All right, yo, let's pull the loot up. All right, let's test fit these things. I'm ready. Oh, 
All right, so this is about how high the lead sits right now. About five and three quarters. Let's see how much the new wheels are gonna add. Yo, these wheels looking real good. <sighs> it's definitely gonna be poking out some, but who knows, we'll see how it looks when we lower the car. Ooh, dude, that is so close. Oh shoot, wow. Can I even stick my finger in here? Actually, yeah, I can kind of. Yo, this might work. Oh, man. Yo, with the wheels poking out, this actually don't look bad. Because there's not a lot of fender gap. Sheesh. Hmm, I could put my whole finger in this one. Weird. Maybe these aren't even. The lute is on cut springs, so it makes sense that it might be a little bit off. But I figured since the lute is already kind of low, I could go and get some wheels, you know. But I'll get coilovers later. Yeah. Yo, I'm gonna go in and just put on the back wheels too, just to see how it looks. Oh, before we do that, let's see how much higher the lute is now. Oh man, it is. It went up a whole inch. Well, I should be able to fix that with getting a, a different tire set up. I'll probably get something that's a little less wide. Right now I'm running 235s by 45. I'll probably do uh, a 205 by 45, or maybe 215 by 45. We'll see, I'm gonna do some research and uh, we'll go from there. <sighs> but let's go and throw on the rear wheels. But what do y'all think though? Stock wheels or replicas? <laughs> All right, let's go and do this thing. Ooh, wow. The Lude looks like a whole new car. Not gonna lie. I definitely wish these were 18s, but man, they look freaking good. Yo, so I was coming down here to look at the clearance, right? Between the uh, rim and the upper control arm right here. But yo, I found something crazy. See that, yo? Freaking casting that could have came off and I could be dead right now, yo. What the heck? Wow. Sheesh. I'm about to call up Honda and see if they got that part. Because, check this out. I do got a bunch of ball joints from Honda. Actually, these are from Bill, Extreme Prelude. He has a bunch of Honda OEM parts. See? But these are axle nuts, but they don't come with the castle nuts for the ball joints. Crazy, yo. But man, I can't drive it like this. I'm gonna have to get new tires so I can have better clearance. And I'm gonna have to, um, replace that castle nut, but I might as well just install the new ball joints I got. So if anything, the lose probably gonna be down for another week or so before I drive it again. Because besides the wheels, um, I shouldn't be driving the lead anymore with that castle nut about to fall off, you know? But I'm gonna call around and see if any stores are open because with the whole coronavirus thing going on. But honest opinion, what do y'all think about the rim poking out a little bit further than the fender though? Y'all think it looks all right or nah? It's not even common for Preludes to have fender flares, so yeah. Honestly, I never thought that rims poking out further than the fender itself looked right. I thought it looked kind of cheesy and lame, but with this setup, it, it's kind of all right. Like I'm, I'm kind of 50-50 with it. I kind of like it, I kind of don't. I definitely wish there were 18s, but yo, they look real good. I like a lot of like uh, wheel space so you can see the brake calipers and whatnot. Uh, it just makes it look really clean, but I'm just not sure what tire size to go with. But yeah, um, leave a comment down below and tell me what you think. I'd really be interested in your opinion, you know, to help me figure out what direction to go with this car as far as wheels go. So yeah, all right, well, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and end it here, guys. See you on the next one. Thanks for checking me out. Deuces.